we're gonna go through a couple of tips and tricks of uh, seed treating uh, seeds. So we're gonna look at uh, how full you're running your auger, which you're using to, uh, to do the treating, as well as look at what temperature your drain is to do the treating as well in spring. You're trying to ensure that that seed has the best coverage uh, possible in order to maximize your disease efficacy of your products. So diseases like Fusarium graminarum, where you're lying on both a contact and systemic portion of Raxel, it's important to ensure you have good coverage of your seed. So what we're going to look at here is I've pre-weighed um, seed already. So we've got a jar showing about two-thirds warm. So this is demonstrating running an auger about two-thirds full of warm seed. We've got seed that's uh, a full jar, so demonstrating running your auger full and as well as we've got a jar showing about half full of warm. So since we've pre-weighed these, I've got all the correct amounts that'll go on for each, so I'll put in the correct amounts per weight of seed. Get you to, to shake two to mimic an auger, and I'm gonna shake two, and we're gonna go for about uh, 12 seconds if we put the timer on, and then we're gonna take a look and see what kind of coverage we've got. Okay, here we go. So you can see what's happened is you have a bit more mixing in the warm versus uh, the, mix the cold is, seed. Yeah, it's very uh, concentrated in places where the seed treatment hit. It is. So there's two concepts that can happen when you have cold seed. One concept is you can have flash freezing. So where that seed treatment, it just wants to stick on that seed and you don't get that secondary mixing. You take something that's frozen and you warm it up. It gives off that moisture and it may allow that seed treatment to want to come off a bit more in your cold seed scenario. Whereas your warm seed, it's, it's really bonding to that seed and, and you don't see that same coming off of, of the seed treatment with warm seeds. You know, I, I understand why we make seed cold for the winter to preserve it. In the springtime, it can be something as simple as turning on your aeration fan on a nice day before you plan to treat. That can change your results from something like this to something like this. Now, if we look at the half full one versus the very full one, there's quite a difference there in the mixing from what I can tell, these two. The half one actually looks fairly well mixed. Obviously yeah. you're not getting the volume, but the full one. It's almost your worst case scenario. Once you get to a pressurized system, we'd see a lot better coverage in all these cases, but we'd still see these differentiations um, based on cold seed, warm seed, and how, how full you're running your auger. So when you run your auger too full, there's just not enough room between your flighting to allow the mixing and allow that seed to seed contact in the amount of time that it's taken to go up the auger. So take a look when you're treating seed, go to the end of your auger, see what you're getting for coverage. If you're getting something, you know, poor coverage uh, like this, let's fine tune it a little bit, play with your throttle a bit and see if you can't get your coverage to something more acceptable so you can maximize uh, the efficacy of your seed treatment products. Excellent, fantastic tips.